lecture we are going to start with the non exact or reducible to exact differential equations form right so exact we already discussed about this one that any differential equation is said to be exact if this is the form of this one means m dx plus n dy is equals to 0 is there first then the condition for exactness is del m by del y is equals to del n by del x and the third thing is what integration m dx plus integration n dy is equals to c it should be the general solution of exact but when any differential equation is not satisfying del m by del y is not equals to del n by del x then dear students whether that differential equation is of the form of m dx plus n dy that will be called as a non exact only right so if del m by del y is not equals to del n by del x then that differential equation whether that is a form of m dx plus n dy that will call as a non exact differential equation okay now in this lecture we are going to learn how to deal with the non exact differential equations how, what is the exact method what is the method to approach the non exact differential equation right so dear students we have to convert we have to convert into exact equation always whenever we have non exact equations we have to convert that into the into the exact equation always okay how we will approach for the non exact equation we approach it for the non exact equation means whenever or whatever the differential equation we are having we will multiply that differential equation with the integrating factor we will always multiply to that particular non exact differential equation with an integrating factor and actually that integrating factor is a tool which convert your non exact equation into the exact equation okay so we will multiply by integrating factor so i will tell you what are the methods to finding integrating factor so let's have discussion on this one there are four methods to find the integrating factor for non exact equations so methods to convert into exact right the first method or the first method uh, of how we can convert a non exact equation into an exact equation is the inspection method only second is second third and fourth we have four methods out of these four methods the three methods are of in, of integrating factor only right and the one method only one method is is that that is inspection method which there is no need of uh, there is no need of uh, integrating factor okay guys so the first method number one is inspection method the second is when integ uh, integrating factor of a homogeneous equation means when you have a equation in the form of homogeneous third is integrating factor for this type of equation and fourth integrating factor for this type of equation okay so we will approach to one by one each and every each and every method let's start with the inspection method only now what is exactly an inspection method inspection method as it is clear by its name that by inspecting something we can observe we can convert non exact equation into exact equation but exactly it's not not uh, not 100 percent true because we uh, we exactly not approach to any equation just by inspection okay so we have to focus we have to observe and then we have to convert some equations into a simplest form okay so the inspection method we have some 10 or 11 forms dear students which you should we have some 10 forms which you should know before approaching the inspection method okay these are the particular forms actually th there can be more than uh, th there, there can be more than 10 forms but as i will tell you these 10 approaches you can make by yourself more than 10 you can make by yourself okay so <laughs> let me tell you dear students inspection method so methods to form uh, form uh, or methods to convert in uh, non exact into exact equation okay so let's start let's start with the first method that is inspection method so whenever you will see the first form that is x d x d y plus y dx exactly what is inspection method let me tell you inspection method is first of all you have to look look something or some part of given equation okay when you observe the uh, some part or something in that equation and you can uh, you can just just elaborate or you can just just observe that part by direct approach means let me show you if if somewhere in any differential equation if you see x dy plus y dx form then you will say ma'am it is nothing but exactly the differentiation of x y only yes exactly 
सो इफ यू सी दिस फॉर्म इन योर एनी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यू विल अप्रोच एट द प्लेस ऑफ दिस वन एज ए डी ऑफ एक्स वाई ओनली राइट यू विल अप्रोच एट द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स डी वाई प्लस वाई डी एक्स डायरेक्टली डी मीन्स द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स वाई ओनली यू कैन क्रॉस चेक इट इज नथिंग बट वेन वी अप्रोच इट डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स वाई और द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स वाई वी विल वी विल टेक एक्स एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट दैन द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज डी वाई ओनली देन वाई एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इज डी एक्स ओनली राइट सो वी हैव टू अप्रोच जस्ट लाइक दिस वी हैव टू डायरेक्टली अप्रोच द थिंग्स That's the inspection method only. Okay, so particularly inspection method having fixed ten forms, uh, not exactly a fixed ten form, but we are having ten forms. Uh, you can make more forms by observation only. Okay, so the first form is what if x dy plus y dx will be there, you will write down directly at the place of this one in the given equation that is equals to differentiation or the d of x y. The second form is if you see somewhere x dy minus y dx, x dy minus y dx divided by x square. If you see somewhere x dy minus y dx is equals to x dy minus y dx divided by x square. So you can write down it is nothing but the differentiation of u by v, my dear students. I will show you how. It is nothing but the differentiation of u by v means the differentiation of y by x. How? Just, just observe. We know very well the differentiation of u by v is u square. Yes, so this is my u square means the x square. Then the u is as it is. Yes, the derivative of v that is equals to dy minus v is as it is. Yes, then the derivative of u that is exactly. So this is nothing but the differentiation of when, whenever we will have this form in the given equation, we will approach directly at the place of this one is equals to derivative of y by x. So it's it makes actually our question simple it makes our question very easy okay so it helps us to to uh, to just convert given non exact equation into the exact okay so uh, even even it's not necessary to convert the equation into the exact even it helps us to solve that particular non exact equation okay guys now first second second thing is done i think so uh, ultimately you can say uh, how uh, how uh, I, how i can directly approach d of means the derivative of y by x it is nothing but the differentiation of y by x square so when whenever we have the last portion we can write down last portion is as in the numerator and the and the in the denominator we know very well the square root of the x square okay now let's approach to the third one let's approach it will be x dy minus y dx divided by x y now if we see somewhere this form dear students this is nothing but the differentiation of log of y by x you can cross check by yourself if you have any doubt you can cross check by yourself if you want to want to find the differentiation of log of y by x what it will become okay what it will become as we know very well the log x differentiation of log x is 1 by x so it will be 1 by y by x yes exactly so you have to differentiate it again so when you differentiate it again it will be it will be uh, it will be it will re remain unchanged so it will be x square yes as it is it will be x dx uh, sorry x dy minus y dx because we have to again differentiate it uh, with the help of uv okay so x and x will be cancel out ultimately you will get xy into x dy minus y dx which exactly you can see here my dear students okay so this will be the third form so you have to remember these these three forms exactly there is not at all any any other approach for inspection method the first form let me show you okay if you if you first of all if you understand the forms then you learn the form it will be easy for you okay so just don't uh, don't try to mug up the forms mug up these inspection forms first of all you have to observe the form then you have to understand it and then then you automatically it will be learned okay so the derivative of x by y is sorry derivative of x y is nothing but x d y plus y d x derivative of y by x is nothing but x d y minus y d x by x square because it is nothing but the de derivative of u by v only right similarly derivative of log of y by x is nothing but x d y minus y d x by x y okay now let's approach to the next one now so uh, let's approach to the next one earlier we discussed about the x dy minus y dx by x y okay now we can write down here x dy minus y dx divided by x square plus y square 
Now, do you know what is the exactly the integration of 1 by x square plus a square? Yes, actually it, it gives us the feeling of 10, right? Whenever we have x square plus a square, whenever we have a square plus x square, it gives us feeling of 10, 10 inverse, right? So, exactly we will approach here the form of 10 only. So, it will become, okay, 1 by x, y is always giving us the form of log. So, that is why it will be nothing but the derivative of 10 inverse y by x. So, it will be nothing but the derivative of 10 inverse of y by x my dear students. If you have any doubt you can approach to this one 1 by 1 upon y square plus x square okay then you will do the function of function differentiation of function of function. You will get the same thing as it is same thing okay. So, first second third fourth form are done okay. Now, uh, let us approach to the one more form okay. Uh, Exactly, this is a different form. Okay, so um, earlier I told you about x dy minus y dx by x square. Okay, it was x dy minus y dx by x square means it was y by x. It was the derivative of y by x. If I want to write down the derivative of x by y, can I make the similar? Yes, exactly. If I have to write down the derivative of x by y, what it will be? You will say, ma'am, it will be y square only. Yes, exactly. It will be y into dx only yes exactly it will be x into dy only yes exactly right so we can make those forms right now we made for the y by x y by x and y by x these are form number second third and fourth we can make similarly for x by y only right so we can make the same forms for x by y only guys is it clear yes let's talk about the next form which we can make for the x by y here we uh, we discussed about log of y by x we can make the same form for for log of x by y only okay so we don't have any other choice dear students for the inspection method particularly we don't have any other choice so in inspection there is not at all options for you to approach okay we have to go for we have to go for you have to go for the method only okay we don't have any other option so we have to go for method only okay yes so let's approach it guys so how we can write down log x by y so log x by y is nothing but here it was x by y, x y so it will be x y again yes it will be x y it was uh, x dy so we can write down y dx minus x dy only yes exactly so this is the form of what dear student this is the form of log of x by y similarly we can make the form of 10 inverse also so this is the form number 7 we can make for 10 inverse also so this will be differentiation of 10 inverse 10 inverse x by y earlier it was y by x now we can write down it for x by y so, when we want to write down it for x by y, it will be 1 by x square plus y square is similarly same. Yes, it will be y dx minus x dy only. Yes, exactly. y dx minus x dy. It is not minus, it is multiplication guys. Okay, y dx minus x dy only. Yes, exactly. Okay, so it will be the same. So, uh, it will uh, give us the form of tan inverse. So, I think you are getting my point these 7 forms till now we discuss are exactly easy. Let me uh, let me revise one more time because because you have to remember these forms there is no other option we have dear students whenever if if, if we see in any gap problem or in any question we see any of these forms we can directly approach these forms and it actually makes our question very easy it help us to solve the non-exact equation directly okay. So, let us have a discussion on the first one x dy plus y dx is always d of means the differentiation of x y only okay it is nothing but the differentiation of y by x to u by v you can see it is y by x you have to write down only right you have to write down the last part only so it will be y by x so x dy minus y dx by x square is y by x differentiation of x dy minus y dx by x y you can see it is nothing but the differentiation of log of y by x okay now x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square whenever we have x y form we will approach for the log whenever we have x square plus y square form it it gives us the feeling of tan inverse so we will approach for the tan inverse y by x we can make the same things first second and third form as it is for the x by y only so it's you can see similarly for x by y for x by y in the denominator it should be y square for x by y the denominator will be same it will be y dx minus x dy by x y 
it will be log of x y x by y dear students then it will be differentiation of tan inverse x by y okay so these are the seven forms let's have discussion on the three more forms we are having the, uh, those are exactly uh, different so let's come to the six seven and eight right so let's come to the form number eight it is y into e to the power dx e to the power x dx y into e to the power x dx minus e to the power x dy y into e to the power x dx minus e to the power x dy divided by y square now i think you are getting my point it's exactly very simple to approach uh, can you observe this one dear students yes exactly you will say ma'am it is nothing but the differentiation of e power x by y only it is nothing but the differentiation of e to the power x by y how it is because we have here, here v, v square means it is nothing but the form of u by v only but here u is as a e power x and v as y only so we have to differentiate it it will be v square v is as it is the differentiation of u right so differentiation of u means e power x dx minus e power x is as it is the differentiation of v that is dy only okay so this is nothing but the differentiation of e to the power x by y my dear students okay let's talk about the form number nine so we have one more form that is 2xy dx 2xy dx minus okay 2xy dx minus x square dy by y square x square dy by y square so what will be the result here let's have discussion it is y okay so 2xy dx minus 2xy dx 2xy dx minus x square dy by y square okay so what will be the result it will be e to the power x square by y now again you can observe ma'am exactly again you can observe my dear students it is nothing but the form of u by v only you can say this is the u and this the square root of this one will be the v only so this is nothing but the form of u by v only yes exactly when we elaborate this one as a u by v we will get exactly the same thing which write down here okay now and let's come to the last form form number 10 that is a form of log so let me write down that form also that's uh, it was the form of x square by y we have one more form x dx plus y dy x dx plus y dy divided by x dx plus y dy divided by x square plus y square now it's not it's not for the form of tan inverse just you can observe the thing there are major difference between this form and this form here here we we were having negative term and here we are having positive term so that's why it is not a form of log uh, sorry this is not a form of tan inverse it is nothing but the differentiation of 1 by 2 it is nothing but the differentiation of 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square my dear students so you should know about these 10 forms basically as i already told you there are not only these 10 forms in the inspection method there can be more than 10 forms but but although for the for the first approach you can go for these 10 forms ultimately what is the learning from these 10 forms that whenever we see any any function okay and uh, any function with the with the differentiation okay any two functions with the differentiation we can observe and we can make the smallest part okay so we have to make the smallest part of that one only with the help of differentiation okay